Hello everyone. So today we're going to be doing a fire service demo on a Schindler 330HT elevator. So before we start, I just want to say this is being done with permission from the building owner and do not use elevator keys unless you have the permission to use them. All right, let's get going to the video. So what you're going to want to do is come, come to your recall station right here. Insert the key into there. This is the FEOK1 key and you're going to want to turn it to on. The elevator should now open up. And that was the recall buzzer you just heard. We are going to take this car. As you see, fireman's light is lit up and the elevator is now disabled. None of the buttons work except for the alarm and the phone, obviously. Now we're gonna take our FEOK1 again. and open up this cabinet. And now, in here, we have call cancel, open buttons, stop, stop run switch. Take our key, turn the elevator to on, now our key is stuck in there. Now, we can operate the elevator. Press R. The elevator will not move unless, or the doors will not close unless you press either this Door close button, and see if you take your finger off it, it'll reopen. Or these door close buttons. And once again, take your finger off. All right. Floor pass time is disabled as well as the arrow. Get up to the roof. The elevator will not open unless you press the open button on here. You can either press this open button or the open button down here. We're gonna use this open button. Now, you open the door. Suppose I see a fire out there. You can take your finger off and the door will close again. We're gonna open the door. Now the door is fully open, and we're up here at the roof. We're gonna go down to parking now. Close the door once again. Elevator will take a minute to move. It still has the protective seal on it from when these elevators were installed. Here at the parking level. These things don't run that well. And the door will not open unless we press the door open button and hold it. So suppose you press all the buttons here and so you press the floor that you don't want to go to, call cancel. That'll cancel all the calls. And now what hold does, if you're wondering, that is where you can hold the elevator to a specific floor and it won't go anywhere. Basically, just phase one, you have it in phase one, but the elevator can be on any floor, not the recall floor. Now suppose you want to send the elevator up to another fireman or something, you can turn this to off. The doors will shut. And there we go. Elevator will go into nudge mode, but the doors are closed. It will just basically put a nudge buzzer, and then the elevator will go right back to the recall floor, and will open up slowly. And then the recall buzzer will go off. So, 
And then stop run is basically just acts as a regular stop run switch. I'm not going to demonstrate that because I don't want to get stuck in here. Now that that's back to off, we're going to close the cabinet off. And then to turn fire recall off, you're going to come back to the recall station, take your key, put it in here, turn it to reset or bypass, and then off. And now the elevators are back in normal normal operation. See, I can press the button. And that is how you do it. Anyways, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the fire service demo. Thanks for watching.